by Dan from VHX411, 2003 Subaru WRX. I'll show you how to reset the airbag light. Actually, not reset, diagnose. In my other video, I'll show you how to reset, clear the codes. What we have is airbag light on. It's supposed to come off after six, seven seconds. If it doesn't come on, that means there's a trouble code, some kind of problem. I'll show you how to diagnose it. What we'll do is shut the ignition off. Over here under the steering wheel, right here under the steering wheel, we've got this little panel right here. There's like a screw over here. You remove that screw, a couple screws on the bottom, and then pull it out. Like pop out. Once it pops out, just get it out of our way. Over here in the fuse box, you'll have two nuts. One over here, one over here, one over here, three actually. You remove those, put this down, and over here you will see kind of like a bunch of connectors, the green connector and the black connector, and then there these two connectors right here. It's kind of uh, black and red in color. There's two of them in here. So what you do with those connectors is get this black connector. As you can see, I'll kind of zoom in. This is on pin number one. This is a pin number two. And then you got four on the bottom. This is there's a space in between. Make sure you connect it into this left front one. Where, the, where there's left and a right one only, not a four. So this left front one is the diagnostic pin. You get one of those red and, uh, actually it's black and red, black and red uh, pins, wires. So let me kind of zoom it in. Set this thing over here. Okay, now we got this. We'll connect, there's two wires, so we connect one of them. So what we do is, connect it. Once we connect it, there's a wire right here that goes inside the pin. We'll turn the ignition on. And when we do that, the airbag light should blink the code so it's off one two three four five six one two so that's 62 six long ones and two short ones means 62 and uh, you can always double check if it repeats 62 like six and a two again it means 62, there's no other codes. If it has other codes, you gotta write all of them down and check it out in the trouble codes. I have it on, <clears throat> on my website, the trouble codes, the definition. So now that we know it's the left seat belt, because 62 is for the left seat belt, what we do over here, as I removed it already, as you can see, somebody already tried to fix this car. It was wrecked in this post. Uh, I got the seat belt over here. The seat belt is actually deployed in this car. Somebody did not replace it. So for me to double check it, I got the plug right here for the seat belt. What I do, what you'll do, it's a 3 ohm. I got a 3 ohm uh, resistors. You can buy them at uh, Radio Shack, 1 fourth watt. It's, you put three of them if you buy 10, 10 ohm. So I put. Uh, three 10 ohms, one fourth watt. This is kind of like an airbag. So once you put in a good resistor, plug it in there pretty good. As you can see one side from one side and another make sure they do not touch e each other from left to right. Uh, this is kind of like a temporary, we'll basically test the circuit, make sure the circuit is fine and if the airbag light goes off that means the seatbelt needs to be replaced pretty simple uh, let's see let's disconnect this pin right here 
and let's put the ignition off and then put it back on the car is supposed to reset the airbag light automatically so you don't need to clear it see it's off right now so that was the problem all you need to do basically is buy the left seat belt install it boom the car will clear it automatically if it doesn't clear automatically watch my other video how to diagnose it or actually how to diagnose it and clear it so if some if any questions just go to vhix411 dot com if you need questions with your trouble codes we got the trouble codes definitions and also diagnosing video as you're watching is right now and uh, resetting video see our other videos